you've uh, you've been uh, on the uh, sort of the front lines of um, of a bill that was passed in Colorado that they're calling uh, one of the most sweeping and regulatory bills passed uh, of cannabis uh, in Colorado since legalization, and it directly impacts uh, patient liberty uh, and access to uh, to the to medicine and uh, politicians getting involved in determining. Uh, the what a patient needs. Uh, more lists have been created, more hurdles to get cards, uh, to see doctors. Tell us about HB 1317 and why you came out to get it to be stopped and vetoed uh, by the governor of Colorado, Jared Polis. Well, it's just straight up discrim discriminatory. Um, I'm not sure why they would limit a certain age group to a certain cap of THC when they haven't even done the study or research that they're claiming to be biased to see if it's dangerous in the first place. And if that like bill is funding the research, I'm not sure how that wouldn't bias it. Like how is it gonna be unbiased if they're funding it? They've already, they have a predetermined uh, mm -hmm. goal that they want. And uh, right, we, know, right. we know what, what happens with research and how it, it can be skewed and biased uh, to the direction they want. So they already have a predetermined goal. Mm -hmm. uh, they, and arbitrary limits, really, on age groups is one of the things you brought up in your speech. Uh, tell us a little bit about that and the hypocrisy and the double standard behind that. So really, it just boils down to it should be a matter between doctor and patient and the doctor she able to give the patient advice with the medicine and unless the representative is going to the appointment with every single patient I'm not sure why they should have a say and how much that patient should be able to have it's really none of their business.